Tesla is preparing to launch its third mega factory near Houston in 2026, and with it comes the possibility of a complete rewrite of the rules that have governed electric vehicle technology up until now. At the center of this shift is a new battery chemistry, the aluminum ion battery, which is rapidly moving from concept to reality. If Tesla succeeds in bringing this innovation to mass production, it could fundamentally transform four critical pillars of electric vehicle ownership, service frequency, insurance premiums, charging times, and long-term resale value. Imagine packs that stay cooler and therefore reduce the need for shop visits, safer electrolytes that lead insurers to lower premiums by as much as 10 to 80 percent, the ability to charge from 10 to 80 percent in around 15 minutes without the bottleneck of heat, and batteries that degrade so slowly they preserve resale values far better than today's lithium-ion systems. This is not just an incremental improvement, it could be a true game-changer. The promise of aluminum-ion technology also forces us to revisit one of the oldest assumptions about electric vehicles, the so-called garage rule, that heat equals wear, and wear equals service revenue. Today's lithium-ion packs are highly sensitive to temperature, and heat is the single biggest accelerant of battery degradation. Every time you fast charge, every time you drive hard on a hot day, you introduce additional wear. That's because heat builds up from two sources, irreversible ohmic losses, I superscript 2 are heating, and reversible entropy changes within the cell. Both increase sharply with higher charge rates, as confirmed by advanced calorimetry testing. A rise of just 10 degrees Celsius can double the rate of degradation, and that's before you factor in the feedback loop where hotter packs generate more resistance, which in turn creates more heat the next time you fast charge. This vicious cycle explains why high-mileage EVs see battery fade over time and why owners worry about long-term health. Aluminum ion cells could rewrite this thermal equation at the materials level. Instead of relying on traditional graphite anodes and flammable carbonate electrolytes, these cells use an aluminum metal anode, a carbon-based cathode, and a chloroaluminate ionic liquid electrolyte. This combination brings several key advantages. The electrolyte is effectively non-flammable, with negligible vapor pressure, meaning the catastrophic fire risks associated with volatile solvents are largely eliminated. It also offers high ionic conductivity, roughly 10 to 13 millisiemens per centimeter at room temperature, which allows ions to move quickly without the voltage drop and resistive heating seen in sluggish electrolytes. Fast ion diffusion and stable aluminum plating kinetics mean that even under repeated fast charging, the battery generates far less heat. If these lab-scale properties translate into mass-produced packs, then Tesla drivers could enjoy lower core temperatures, fewer temperature spikes, and significantly reduced thermal-driven wear. Of course, the technology does not come without engineering hurdles. The chloroaluminate electrolytes that enable aluminum plating are highly hygroscopic and can be corrosive if exposed to moisture. This means that Tesla must engineer extremely tight sealing solutions to prevent any exposure to humidity over the lifetime of the battery. Every component that touches the electrolyte, from gaskets and coatings to current collectors, must be chemically compatible for years of operation. Even the atmosphere inside the manufacturing environment may need to be tightly controlled. However, once those sealing and compatibility challenges are solved, the benefits will ripple through every part of EV ownership. If Tesla manages to deliver aluminum ion packs that run cooler, charge faster, and degrade more slowly, the impact will be visible in warranties, service costs, and insurance policies. Currently, Tesla offers battery and drive unit warranties up to 10 years or 150,000 miles, with a guarantee of at least 70% capacity retention. That's already a strong baseline compared to gas cars, but an aluminum ion system could stretch these numbers much further. Since EV drivers already spend about half as much on maintenance as gas car owners, saving thousands of dollars over a vehicle's lifetime, a battery that further reduces diagnostic visits and eliminates heat-driven failures could widen that gap dramatically. Instead of the old rule where heat means wear and service means revenue, the new rule becomes cool means durable, and service bays turn into exceptions rather than routine stops. One of the most overlooked but financially critical consequences of aluminum ion batteries is their potential to reshape insurance premiums. Insurance companies base their pricing on risk, which is a combination of claim frequency and claim severity. At the moment, EV insurance tends to be more expensive than that of gas cars, sometimes by 20 to 50 percent, with premiums averaging up to $44 per month higher. The reason isn't that EVs catch fire more often, in fact, Tesla data suggests its vehicles experience one fire for every 130 to 135 million miles traveled, compared to an industry average of one fire every 18 million miles. 
Instead, the issue is that when EVs do experience severe battery damage, the repairs are often incredibly expensive, sometimes requiring total pack replacements. This inflates claim severity and pushes premiums upward. A safer, cooler aluminum ion battery would reduce both frequency and severity. Fewer thermal events mean fewer total losses, while smaller and more controllable fires reduce the size of claims. Salvage rates improve, uncertainty shrinks, and insurers no longer have to pad premiums to cover catastrophic outcomes. As a result, comprehensive and collision policies could begin to resemble, or even undercut, comparable internal combustion insurance rates. Repair networks would also benefit, since the lower likelihood of catastrophic battery propagation allows for more confident cost estimates and shorter turnaround times. Over time, EV ownership costs would normalize, with premiums set by ordinary body repair instead of rare but extreme battery claims. Charging infrastructure is another area where aluminum ion technology could redefine the driver experience. One of the current bottlenecks of EV adoption is the length of charging sessions. Today, most EVs take 20 to 30 minutes to move from 10 to 80% state of charge at 250 kW chargers, and that's assuming ideal conditions with preconditioned packs. As more drivers hit charging stations, those wait times create bottlenecks. But aluminum ion's fast kinetics and cooler operation mean the charge curve stays flatter for longer, allowing near-peak charging rates to be sustained until a much higher state of charge. That translates to 10 to 80% charging in just 15 minutes, a huge improvement. For drivers, this means predictable coffee break length stops. For the network, it means higher throughput per stall, with sessions per charger potentially doubling. Lines shrink, trip planning gets easier, and fleet operators can serve more vehicles with the same infrastructure. Another major advantage lies in resale values and financing. Right now, one of the biggest reasons used EVs depreciate faster than gas cars is buyer uncertainty about battery life. Even though real-world Tesla data shows that Model 3 and Model Y packs retain about 85% of capacity after 200,000 miles, shoppers remain wary of the cost of replacement. Aluminum ion batteries, with their slower degradation curves, could remove that uncertainty. If secondhand buyers can count on stable range even in year 6 or 7, dealers will increase trade-in offers, lenders will support stronger loan-to-value ratios, and certified pre-owned programs will gain credibility. For example, if a $25,000 Model 2 retains 65% of its value after 7 years instead of 55%, owners gain an extra $2,500 at resale. That higher residual value reduces effective monthly costs for the first owner and improves financing conditions for the next buyer. Finally, for American households specifically, aluminum ion batteries align with the practical realities of ownership. In hot climates like Texas, Nevada, and Florida, cooler operation means consistent performance in summer, fewer heat-related failures, and longer battery life. For urban drivers without home charging, 15-minute weekly top-ups at public stations make EV ownership far more convenient. For insurers, lower ignition risk and reduced repair costs translate to more competitive premiums. And from a supply chain perspective, aluminum is abundant and easily recycled in the US, making the chemistry economically sustainable at scale. In short, aluminum ion batteries represent far more than a lab breakthrough. They promise fast, predictable charging, cooler operation, safer ownership, stronger resale values, and nationwide scalability. As Tesla's Houston mega factory comes online, this shift is no longer just theory, it's poised to hit the road.